Okay, so we are in the Leighton Building 2018 in the stand of Thipato. And um, can you explain us a little bit more about your company? Well, uh, thank you first of all. Uh, Ziparo is a, a company which is providing a, a whole home automation ecosystem. And the whole ecosystem, like a platform which is connecting various devices and allowing customers to set up various programs, rules, scenarios and everything what they need from a smart home. Uh, and the whole system and platform is based on, on, on a couple of our controllers which are interconnecting with other devices in, inside the home. What's very special is that uh, uh, our controllers can combine popular wireless and wired technologies. Of course, KNX is one of the most important wired technologies which we are uh, working with, but besides that, we are also combining into these systems these popular Z-Wave, ZigBee and other wireless technologies. Okay, great, perfect. So, uh, uh, yes, <laughs> we, we can go now maybe to the products and have rather a look at the products uh, and then we, you explain us a little bit more about, about them. Yeah, th will do. Great. Okay, so this is our this is our new uh, uh, control panel, which is actually home server, allowing customer to connect various devices to it. But what is special with this server is that it acts as a complete alarm panel, thermostat, and door phone internal door phone unit. So customer can buy one unit and practically uh, uh, get the experience of the complete small home automation, which they can upgrade if they want. So the specification of Zipatile 2 is pretty much uh, specific uh, and unique because, as I said already, there are built-in sensors and siren and re relays for controlling boilers and, and, and getting environmental uh, informations. Uh, and, and this is all combined with various applications which are running on top of it. This is why we, we, we uh, uh, use this device in order to present a small home automation system within a single device. Okay, so if I understood correctly, uh, the device has internally um, these sensors uh, physically on the device. Yes. They are built in, into this device. A noise, de noise sensor, so yes. what, what does it mean? So for example, you have a one noise sensor which is detecting noises like from uh, smoke, uh, uh, smoke alarms. So if you have a traditional smoke alarms and you want to be alerted on a mobile phone when something happens or you want something, some siren to yell or something like that, then this unit you can activate and this unit will recognize the, the, the noise of the traditional smoke sensor which you can buy pretty much affordable and then this unit will inform you over the mobile phone push notification or any other way how modern systems are informing or keeping customers informed. That's about noise sensor but besides that there is a temperature meter, humidity meter, and there is a siren which is inside built already, there is a 120 degree camera and there is a motion sensor with the flat surface Fresnel lenses, which is also 120 degrees, being able to monitor what's happening in front of it. So if you arm the system and go away, and someone gets in, the motion sensor will detect the person, the camera will take a video of it, and then everything is going to be sent to you on your mobile phone, so you can check it out and act accordingly. And the, uh, the motion sen sensor, uh, how far does it reach? More? It can reach uh, five to six meters. Very good. So quite interesting. What uh, it, it that, that's uh, quite a lot more than uh, you see from the beginning. First side. As as more you see, you know that would be a more unpleasant design. <laughs> so it's very difficult to promote this unit because you can only promote a simple touch, uh, touch panel. While on the back of the unit, you can show uh, uh, many other things. You know, first of all, the unit is being connectable by by KNX system over the IP, then Z-Wave, then Zigbee, and a Wi-Fi on the top, so all these antennas are built into a frame which is allowing the unit to communicate over all these networks. Okay. And the KNX connection is a KNX IP, so you need to have one KNX IP gateway in your installation and then you can communicate and what can you control over the KNX? Is it, um, do you have a, uh, the visualization or? Because our system is actually, we 
in, in, having a visualization included. So with this, what you get, you get practically all the logic controller, a very powerful logic controller with all the customization tools, which are graphical and available online and available for even do-it-yourself customers. Plus, you get an automatic mobile application and web applications like a visual, visualization uh, uh, tool, which I can show you over there already available on the screen. Okay, perfect, great. So let's have a look there. Okay, so um, can you explain us a little bit more what you have here on this panel? So Zipatile is actually a product of ours, which we are currently uh, uh, selling on the market already. Uh, it is a multifunctional unit. It is a control panel and a, a home server in one unit. So uh, being a home server means that uh, this device is having a different antennas built inside and different connectors in the back which are uh, allowing you to interconnect this device with various other devices based on KNX, based on Z-Wave, based on Zigbee, based on Wi-Fi. So all these devices you can put together and, and, and you can use this server to have a graphical visualization of all these devices, control them through the touch panel over here or through mobile applications which are automatically generated and available on any iOS and Android mobile phone. The device itself is practically replacing the uh, uh, smart alarm panel, thermostat panel and the video door phone, uh, uh, internal video door phone unit. So, if you want to go out of the home, you can just use one of the partitions and arm away your system. Okay. So since the unit itself is the complete small alarm system, you can just arm away your system. And once the system is armed away, in case the system, now it's not possible because it's not activated, but if once the system detects, the motion sensor detects the intruder, the camera will take a small recording and it's going to send it to the to the cloud and you're going to get it on a mobile phone and the siren will inform intruder that he has been busted. A uh, similar thing you have with the, uh, with the thermostat where you can actually approach your thermostat over here, set the, the heating or cooling set point and you don't have to worry anymore. You can actually uh, uh, change that through the mobile application if you want to change it once you go uh, away of the home. If someone is calling you on the on the on the uh, um, your door door phone, you can get a call over here, answer the call, and then open the door directly from from uh, Zipatile over here. Or you can use your mobile application, which is already available for Zipatile, and open the door through your mobile application as well. Okay, great. So it's an app for Android and also for iOS? Exactly. This one is running on Android and what you see right now is a visualiza visualization for Android but of course the similar one is available for iOS as well. So this unit is able to communicate with Kinex through a local IP network. Mm -hmm. So in, in, in case of Kinex you need to, in order to communicate with Kinex system, you need to have a Kinex IP gateway on the Kinex side. Then you can configure uh, the whole system from here and then you can actually have a visualization and control all the Kinex based devices through this unit as well. So it's bi-directional communication, you can control from here something to the Kinex and you can also visualize something from the Kinex here. Exactly. One very interesting thing with this unit because of that communication is that this unit is also having a programmable 50 gestures like swiping up, swiping down with two fingers, with three fingers and it has a six buttons here, six regions which, which you can use for programming them. So you can use them as input. So you can, for example, swipe with two fingers down and then you can, in your ETS software in KNX, you can program what you want to happen when you get that input. So it differentiates between swiping with one finger and swiping with two fingers. And swiping with one finger uh, down and swiping with one finger up, swiping with two fingers up also different. So if you want to program some gestures and, and, and uh, or, or buttons, then you can just go to applications and we have a special applications for it. Application. So here you see buttons, one, two, three, four, five, six. On here you see gestures. If you want to make a gesture, which is like, I don't know, uh, like for example, two finger top, doing something like, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to use just starting the 
some color in their application. Okay, so um, just a conclusion. Um, okay, uh, so yes, it looks very, very interesting, the, the, the device. Really a lot of functions, a lot of features, uh, and having uh, you can use it as, as a push button or a, or a gesture feature. I especially, uh, I like the gesture function so that you can do different things with your uh, different gestures. So thanks a lot. Okay, so very interesting. Um, we thank you that uh, you have explained everything to, to us and um, I hope you have a very a good Light and Building 2018, um, that you have a lot of new customers and um, great, thanks a lot. Thank you very much. It was my pleasure to introduce the pilot to you. Great. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>